G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, I'm working on a little project and I'm also getting set up to do a review of a few things from Banggood uh, for project work. One of which is this little electric motor, DC electric motor, 32 volt, high torque. And while I was doing it, I thought, you know, some of the simple things in life that you take for granted, you, you realise that some, some viewers don't have a handle on what's actually going on or know how to do it. So this, this is one of those situations where we've got a DC motor and as you know, if you reverse the polarity on a DC motor, you can make it run in an opposite direction. So it'll run two ways, basically. Now, you can change the connectors on the back of the motor or you can rig up some sort of trickery. But what I'm going to show today is a simple way of, of doing, basically, that trickery. And what we've got here is, a, is the motor. We've got a, a three position switch, which is off, on and on. We'll click the switch. It's rotating anti-clockwise. Middle is off. Now it's rotating clockwise. Now you can use this setup for any size motor. This switch will handle it uh, for anything, say, up to treadmill size, including treadmill motors. No problem. And yeah, it's easy. It's easy to wire up. I'll show you how. Let's look at what's going on with the switch. Now, this is the back of your switch. And here are your middle connectors and the end connectors. Now, you've got an on here and you've got an on there. On, on. The middle position is off. So, okay. Now, the way it works is you connect your wires up to the middle terminals from your power supply. Now they can be positive or negative, it makes no difference. Just for the sake of the exercise, we'll make it positive and we'll make it negative. So you're running your, your feed into there. Now, if you toggle the switch over this way, this bridges with that, this bridges with that. So this becomes negative this becomes positive. If you flick it back that way, the same thing happens. That's negative, that's positive. But you can only connect your motor up to one set of terminals, so we'll connect it up to these. So they're the wires that go to your motor. Now at the moment, if we connect across, throw the switch to the right, it's negative on that line and it's positive on that one. If we throw the switch back this way, that will become positive and that will become negative. But it's not feeding anything, it's doing nothing. It's, it's isolated. Okay, so you know, as I said, we throw the switch this way, make a connection, the motor runs. The motor will run in one direction. So, how do we reverse that? Well, it's really quite simple. We run a wire from here across to here, and from here, across to here. Now let's look at what happens again. We throw the switch this way, pos negative becomes negative, positive becomes positive. The motor runs. Let, the current can flow back this way, but it can't go anywhere because these two terminals are still isolated. So no effect, the motor's running in one direction. Okay, now we reverse the scenario. We throw the switch back this way so that, remember, this is negative, that becomes negative. This is positive, so that becomes positive. But what's happening? The negative line then goes from here to here and then cross back to this point here. The positive does the same thing. It goes from positive to positive, and then positive becomes back to here, which is the negative side. So this then becomes positive, and this becomes negative. So you effectively reverse the, the current flow to the motor. 
So that's all there is to it. It's just a bridge, it's just bridging across two terminals that are unused and you're using them as a, as a flip, just to flip the current across. Pretty simple. So yeah, that's how you do it. And well, it couldn't be simpler, but you've just got to get your head around how it works. So here's the switch, and you can see the specification on the switch. It's uh, 250 volt, 15 amp. This will easily handle a treadmill motor, no problem. And your toggle is in the off position here. It's basically your, lot, your current feed into here is live, but both sets of terminals at either end are inactive. And when you flick your toggle this way, these become connected to the to the feed. When you connect it that way, they become connected to the feed. And then the crossover wiring does all the trick, all the trickery. And that's how it works. So there you have it, that's how you do it. Now in this case, we've got the little motors wired up through A KB inverter, which uh, allows me to vary the speed with a potentiometer, and it would do it in either direction. So, if you're going to use one of these motors for a project, and these are a high, very high torque little motor, yeah, when you go for your power supply, you've got a choice. You can either use a constant supply, or you can use a uh, a variable one, or one that allows variable use. So, I've got a project in mind for this. I'm going to review this motor more thoroughly and a project kit that came with it, which enables you to do all sorts of interesting stuff. But for now, we just deal with the, the crossover switch, show you how it works, and uh, give you an idea of how simple this stuff really can be. See that? Piece of cake. All right, that's it. I hope you found it interesting. Simple, but yep, interesting. See you next time. Cheers.